Well, in less than two months, voters across California will head to the polls for a special election to determine whether Governor Gavin Newsom will be recalled. And if he is recalled, there's more than 40 candidates vying to replace him, including former San Diego Mayor Kevin Faulkner. Joining us live right now to break it down from Los Angeles, California GOP Chairwoman Jessica Milan Patterson. Jessica, thanks for joining us here. Um, in a poll that was released this week by Fox 5 and Emerson College, 48% of respondents would vote to keep Governor Newsom in office. 43% would vote to recall him. Uh, what do you make of those numbers? I think this is great news for Californians. Thank you for having me on tonight. This poll shows us that Gavin Newsom is incredibly vulnerable, especially with that 9% that is undecided. Another interesting number that came out of that poll is regardless of how you felt about the recall, you have 58% that think there needs to be new leadership by 2022. This gives Governor Newsom an incredible wake up call because that means even Democrats aren't excited about saving his job. He's got a huge turnout problem coming his way a couple of months. Well, let's pick up on that thread. Um, you were talking about undecided uh, voters and, and, and who they're trying to uh, select from the ticket on the Republican side. 16% in that poll would choose radio's Larry Elder above other Republicans like San Diego's former mayor, Kevin Faulkner, and also San Diego businessman John Cox. So do you think the ticket might be too crowded? Are you worried at all about um, really spreading out the votes uh, on that ticket? Well, certainly I think we're always better when we're united, uh, but one of the great things about this process is that these candidates get to make their case to the California people and to California Republicans for that, for that fact. But um, we have this opportunity to hear what their ideas are. How will they change California? And I think right now what most Californians are saying, any one of those candidates would be better than the current governor that we have here that has failed us on so many levels. And hey, with that in mind, as the California GOP chairwoman, are you supporting any candidate in particular? Would it really be helpful to do that? I mean, to your point, either people want to recall the governor or they don't. And if that does happen, then it's one of these candidates who will win. Well, I think certainly that there should be a process in place and there wasn't one at the California Republican Party. And we're actually in the midst of putting that process in place where delegates will have the opportunity to hear from all of these candidates and make the decision if they want to endorse or not endorse at all. Our number one priority from the beginning has been yes on question one. And that is something that we are successful at pushing out regardless of who the top candidate ends up being. Like I said, we have a lot of great candidates in this race. Now is their opportunity to make the case as to why they would be the best replacement. Well, let's touch on one of the pressing issues, certainly not just for California, but right here in San Diego. And we're talking about soaring home prices. We set another record just uh, this past month in, in term, past month in terms of prices. Um, what does the Republican Party of California plan to do about that to make homes more affordable? Yeah, well, certainly uh, Republican members and uh, legislators and elected officials have always been in a place where they're trying to come down on the side of the people. Just this morning, the United Way came out with a study that showed one in three families in California is struggling to make ends meet. That is absolutely terrible for the fifth largest economy in the world. So what California Republicans have always talked about is pushing away some of these regulations, not making it so difficult and so expensive to live here, making it easier to build so that that construction is available. And right now, California Democrats have done everything possible to limit what we're able to do when it comes to getting out there and making a housing market that works for the middle class. Uh, Jessica, last question here. What do you think has to happen? There's that five point discrepancy in, in that poll. What has to happen over the next couple of months um, for these candidates to convince Californians it's time for change right now? We're in the middle of a pandemic. Numbers are going back up. Uh, what do you think needs to happen in the next couple of months? Well, I think that Gavin Newsom needs to keep doing exactly what he's doing. Every single day he fails California people and he is the greatest advocate that we have to recall. And so um, we're gonna continue to watch them. We're gonna continue to remind them that, well, he lied to us about what he was doing on prevention of wildfires. He also cut the budget. We're gonna remind them that when he said he was gonna help with the homeless crisis, he failed them. We're gonna remind them that while well, kids all over the country were back to in-person full-time school, California schools are the last in the nation to get there. We're gonna remind them that there's fraud at the EDD when uh, you know real Californians needed their government's help for the first time and one million of those people haven't had a return call.
All right, well, this has been a um, blue stronghold for a long time, so we'll see if you all make some headway. California GOP Chairwoman Jessica Milan Patterson, we sure appreciate your time. Thanks for having me, guys. Thank you.